So I'm actually from Red Deer. My parents moved here when I was two years old. Welcome to Red Deer, Alberta, the third biggest city in this province after Calgary and Edmonton. And it's where the Canadian Finals Rodeo is going to be taking place in November. And the Canada Winter Games will be here in February. Yeah, so a lot coming up in this central Alberta city. But we're going to go explore it today and bring you along with us. So the first thing we did in Red Deer was to actually go for a bike ride with Pursuit Adventures. This company normally focuses on skiing and snowboarding and snowshoeing adventures in the winter and hiking in the summer, but they took us on a bike ride around Waskasu Park. So as you can see, there's a lot of beautiful wilderness to check out right in Red Deer, with ponds and streams and rivers. But of course it is an actual city too, so they've got a pretty vibrant downtown. There are 11 cafes we could choose from, more than 30 restaurants, and over 75 retail businesses. So actually quite a bit of shopping, lots of interesting stuff to look at as we wandered around the downtown area. And it's all pretty concentrated, so easy to get around. And in the public library, my mom actually made this mural. She is a local artist in Red Deer, so that's pretty cool. And then there's this cute outdoor area. Uh, and just a block from there on Wednesday afternoons is a farmer's market. The downtown market happens from 3.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. on Little Gates Avenue throughout the summer season. So ends in October but starts up again in May and you can get some tasty treats. So I'm actually from Red Deer. My parents moved here when I was two years old. And they've lived in the same house ever since. Yeah. and. Uh, the population was about half the size it is now when I lived here, and there wasn't a Pride Festival, but now there's one. Yeah, it's, a, it's even a week-long Pride. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, it was a great place to grow up, and now it's a nice place to visit, and we've got more of it to check out, so let's go. And next on the agenda was lunch at Tribe, which is a contemporary restaurant that focuses on sourcing local seasonal ingredients, to create food inspired from around the world. And it's actually gay owned as well. So a lot of rich, intense flavors here. And then we went over to the Red Deer Museum and Art Gallery or MAG to check out their collection on the culture and history of Red Deer and Central Alberta. We got to learn a lot about the history of this area and the people in it, which actually includes my brother. That's his picture under Innovators and Leaders. So I guess my family have made their mark on this city. There are over 100,000 people who live here though so it's not like it's that small and then we went to check out the craft beer scene in Red Deer because yes there is one we got a tour of the Troubled Monk Brewery and Tap Room which included a tasting as well Charlie the co-founder took us around he's really passionate about the brewery and the community so it was really cool to hear from him and they source as much as they can from within Alberta and the rest of Canada so a very local experience and then finally we went for dinner at To The Lost which is Red Deer's first First true cocktail lounge. So we of course had some cocktails and also some yummy food and just basically a fantastic evening of flavor exploration. And that was our day in Red Deer. Nice paths outside, interesting exhibits inside, tasty drinks and yummy food. Yeah definitely worth checking out if you're driving from Calgary to Edmonton. So thanks a lot for coming along with us on our day here and if you're new make sure you subscribe so you can see more of the gay friendly destinations that we go to. And check out our pics on Instagram. Bye. Bye.